Chapter 9 Concealing Reproofs I was shown the course of H and I. Although reproved, they have not corrected their wrongs. The people of God, especially in the state of New York, have been affected by their wrong course. Their influence has been injurious to the cause of God. For the last ten years they have been often presented before me in vision. Their wrongs have been shown me, and I have written to them concerning these things. But they were careful to conceal from their brethren the fact that they had been reproved, fearing it would have a tendency to destroy their influence. Those who were affected by their wrong course should have been benefited by the reproofs which they received. I should have placed these messages in the hands of judicious brethren in the church, that if necessary all might understand the instruction the Lord saw fit to give his people. But when I related the messages given me for these brethren to anyone but themselves, they censored me in the most unsparing manner. This caused me so much suffering of mind that I have been led to conceal what the Lord has given me in regard to the wrongs of individuals. It was pride of heart which led these brethren to manifest so much fear lest others should know that they had been corrected. If they had humbly confessed their wrongs to the church, they would have acted out the faith they professed to have in the visions, and the church would have been strengthened to receive correction and confess their faults. These teachers stood in the way of the flock. They set them a wrong example, and the church have looked to them, and when reproved have inquired, Why have not these ministers been reproved when we are following their teachings? A door has thus been opened for Satan to tempt them as to the truthfulness of the visions. The brethren have been deceived and wronged. They believe that we were in union with these teachers and followed their instructions when they were all wrong. I have written to these ministers in anguish of spirit as I have seen the cause of God wounded by their injudicious course. How anxiously have I watched the effect of these messages. But they laid them aside and the brethren were not permitted to know anything about them, therefore could not be benefited by the instructions which the Lord saw fit to give. My labor has been most discouraging, as I have seen that what God designed has not been accomplished. Often I have inquired in distress, of what account is all my labor? These brethren took this position, we believe the visions, but Sister White, in writing them, put in her own words, and we will not believe that portion which we think is of God, and will not heed the other. This course they have pursued, and have not corrected their lives. They have professed to believe the visions, but have acted contrary to them. Their example and influence have raised doubts in the minds of others. It would have been better for the cause of present truth had they both opposed the gifts. Then the people would not have been deceived and would not have stumbled over these blind teachers. We have hoped and prayed that they might get right and exert a good influence upon the flock. But hope has died and we cannot, dare not hold our peace longer. We have wronged the church of God in that we have not spoken out before.